thank you, thank you. Man, I love Montreal. I do, man. Yeah, man, I was hanging out in the black community today. Both of those guys are great. <laughs> we got along. I got lost today in Montreal. The police helped me find my way. The police helped me. See, I just got back from Los Angeles. Let me tell you something, LAPD overreact to everything. You ever see them in action? Just, oh, oh my goodness. Stop jaywalking. <laughs> it's like real racially tense out there. I took two white friends of mine to an all-black party in L.A. These guys were in shock. They had no idea that black people sometimes call each other nigger. As an endearing term. And they saw the brothers at the party like, hey, what up, nigga? <laughs> my man. <laughs> oh, what's up, nigga? Pat, pat. My white friends, they got all excited. Hey, how you niggers doing? <laughs> the music stopped. Everyone looked at them. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I mean, they got their asses kicked that night. <laughs> I hated to do it, but you understand. It was like, <laughs> they embarrassed me in those days. Me and one of the guys, this is real ironic, we got in like a little Rodney King incident ourselves. Me and this guy Dave, we were eating dinner at a restaurant. Dave got in an argument over the check with the waiter. Next thing we know, the owner, the manager, all the employees get together and just beat the shit out of him. Kapow! He sued him for half a million dollars and won the case because the whole incident was recorded on videotape. Sounds amazing, right? Mm-mm. That's why me and my buddy Dave always carry a camcorder with us. Because <laughs> you never know when a Kodak moment might pop up, you know. <laughs> we'll be hanging out and be like, all right, Dave, go ahead, I got you. You ready, man? Go ahead, do it. All right, just be ready. Hey! Officer! <laughs> Kiss my ass. <laughs> what? Uh-oh. Uh Roll them. <laughs> All the police problems in the States, man, it makes me wish superheroes existed. Normally, I hate superheroes. Not because they never help out black people. Mm -mm. <laughs> I think they're bad role models for children. You know, just look at them. Look at Wonder Woman. Look at how she dresses. You know, those big-ass red hooker boots. Blue underwear with stars and stuff all over them. They always give women ridiculous weapons. Wonder Woman has a golden lasso that makes you tell the truth. Oof, not that. <laughs> <laughs> the hell is that gonna do? She's gonna catch a bad guy. <laughs> gotcha. Oh! Nice tits. <laughs> Superheroes never fight crime in black neighborhoods. No, I would love to see Batman in a black neighborhood. I can see him now, he just... Robin. Yes, Batman. <laughs> Didn't we park the car right here, man? <laughs> Having such a wonderful time. You know, folks, any of you guys ever do this? I got in a little trouble when I was coming into Montreal. I walked to that little x-ray thing at the airport and said a joke about having a gun. <laughs> Don't do that, y'all. <laughs> now, I was just trying to be funny. You know, I walked through the thing, it said boop, boop, boop. He said, I'm sorry, eh, but you have to go back through. I said, oh, no problem. Must have been my pistol. <laughs> hey! <laughs> hey, I was joking! I mean, he was ready to kill me, man. Pulled his gun out and stick out all that shit. But my buddy Dave had the camera roll. <laughs> Peace, everybody. I'm out of here.